Hello, assalamu alaikum. How are you doing today, guys? Uh, well, after talking about the two comparison tests, the direct comparison and the limit comparison, today we are going to talk about a new test. It is called the alternating series test. And as the name here suggests, we need our series to be alternating. So let's understand what do we mean by an alternating series. Uh, if you have summation n from 1 to infinity, negative 1 exponent, let's say n plus 1, a n. And a n here is positive for all n. In this case, when you expand this, you see the sign alternates. So basically, it starts positive, then negative, then positive, then negative, and so on and so forth. So such a series is called an alternating series. It's called alternating series. So here, you have to observe that we are separating the sign from a n. And that should be a, a different from when we write summation b n, n from 1 to infinity. When we write like this, here b n, it could be positive, it could be negative, we don't know, it depends on uh, your, your uh, sum. Uh, but here we are sure that a n is positive and the sign is isolated here. Okay? Now, for such those series, if you expand here, you find <coughs> you find the sign alternates, and in that case you are adding and subtracting, adding and subtracting. So if you take this one, 1 over n, n from 1 to infinity, we know this is the harmonic series, we know this is divergent, you have 1 plus 1 half, plus 1 third, plus 1 fourth, and so on. However, if you take the alternating series 1 to infinity, negative 1 exponent n plus 1, 1 over n, then you have here 1 minus 1 half plus 1 third minus 1 fourth plus 1 over 5, and you keep going. So now look, here the sum adds up to infinity. It becomes a huge. However, here you are adding and subtracting. So you can see a significant difference between this one and this one. And the question now, is this one convergent? Well, it turns out yes. And we need to develop a test for such this series. Okay? The test is called the alternating series test. Uh, before I write the test here, let's try to uh, observe, to observe uh, a few things. If you look at the terms here, the absolute terms, I mean, ignore the, the, the negative sign, you find this is decreasing, correct? And of course here, the limit of a n is zero, because otherwise using the divergence test, it will be divergent. So once, once you want to talk about convergence, the limit of a n should be zero. That is for granted. Now, if you try here to combine terms, for example, if I take this one, those two together, like this, then it is positive. If I combine those two together, it's positive, correct? One third minus one fourth is positive. And if I keep going in this way, then you couple them, and in that case, you are getting, you are getting positive terms. However, if you couple them in a different way, like you couple this and this, then one half is larger than one third because of the negative, then this is negative. And if you couple them in this way, you get here negative. And if you keep going, you are getting negative, 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 so this is one minus something, so in that case, you know that this is for sure going to be smaller than 1, correct? 
And in fact, that this observation can be generalized here for the general alternating series, correct? So basically, you can observe that if you start from positive, then your sum is bounded by the first term, correct? All right. And if you, if you couple them the other way around, then it is going to be positive, positive, positive. So you are adding positive numbers, and those positive numbers, they add up into something smaller than 1, correct? So from here, you can observe that you must have convergence. Of course, this is a rough way of thinking about it, but we can write a rigorous proof. So here, let me write the uh, alternating series test. Uh, the alternating series test. Suppose summation and from 1 to infinity, negative 1 exponent n plus 1, a n is alternating. such that 1 uh, an is decreasing to limit an as n goes to infinity is 0 then summation n from 1 to infinity, uh, negative 1 exponent n plus 1, an is convergent. All right, let's take an example. And after that, after that, we try to formalize what I said here about this case. So basically, we try to formalize here a proof of this test. Uh, using this test, this series is convergent, obviously. Let's take another one. Summation, n from 1 to infinity, negative 1 exponent n, 3 n over n squared plus 10. Well, this is alternating, as you can see. Uh, so let's always here start this from a positive term. If it starts from a negative term, then we can start from the second term, it will be starting from positive. So here our reference is we start from a positive term. And there is a reason for that later on. You will observe why we do that. All right. Uh, so here, uh, all we need is to check those two conditions. Uh, number two is easy to observe right away here. So you can see, you can see limit 3n over n squared plus 10 as n goes to infinity is 0. And the second condition here, let's think about this continuous function, fx equals 3x over x squared plus 10. Here, x is larger than or equal to. Uh, well, let's not, let's not here restrict ourselves from the beginning. Let's see, where do we get this decreasing? Well, f prime of x here is x squared plus 10 multiplied by 3 minus 3x multiplied by 2x over x squared plus 10 all squared. Am I correct? Double check, please. All right. Now, when you simplify this, what you get here is 3x squared and here you have negative 6x squared, so you have negative 3x squared, and here plus 30 over x squared 
plus 10 all squared. Well, you can take 3 out, and in that case, this will be 3 into 10 minus x squared. So from here, you can observe that f is decreasing when x is larger or equal to square root of 10. So this sequence, 3n over n squared plus 10, is not decreasing from the beginning. It is decreasing after n equals 4, correct? Square root of 10 is 3 point something. So basically after 3, which means larger than or equal to 4. So how do we handle this one? Well, that's easy. Remember, always we can cut the series. Always we can cut few terms and start after that. Okay? So if we have a few terms at the beginning that bother us for some reason, then it is easy just to cut that and isolate your, uh, or separate your uh, series into two parts. So let's do that. So here, uh, I can say, for example, summation n from 1 to infinity, uh, negative 1 exponent n plus 1, multiplied by 3n over n squared plus 10. I can take its summation n from 1 to 4 to 10. You can cut anything after square root of 10 will, will do the job here. So n from 1 to uh, let's say here to uh, 4 and negative 1 exponent n plus 1 uh, 3n over n squared plus 10 plus summation n from 5 to infinity negative 1 exponent n plus 1 3n over n squared plus 10 this is a finite sum you can use your calculator and find what is that. I don't care about it. What we care about is this one. And now, this is convergent. This is convergent by the alternating series test. It is convergent by the alternating series test. Okay? All right. What if I give you this example? Summation, n from 1 to infinity, negative 1 exponent n plus 1, and here 3n squared over n squared plus 10. What do you think here? Well, don't let the alternating series here deceive you and think about the alternating series test. So it is true, this is an alternating series. But when you check this condition, you find limit a n as n goes to infinity is a 3. So here, don't think about the alternating series test. Instead, think about the divergence test. So this one is divergent by the divergence test. Right? Limit a n as n goes to infinity here is not 0. It is a 3. So basically, if you take if you take negative 1 exponent n plus 1, so the limit the limit of, so here is, it is divergent by the, alter, the divergence test, and here you can write limit and negative 1 exponent n plus 1, 3n squared over n squared plus 10 as n goes to infinity does not exist, does not exist. Again, in the divergence test, you take the limit of the whole thing. 
uh, the limit of the whole thing here does not exist. Why? Because the limit of the uh, an here is a three. So this does not exist. All right. Uh, so here, it is easy to apply the divergence test. Uh, sorry, it's easy to apply the alternative series test. Now, uh, let's try here to make more sense of the alternating series test and somehow verify or prove this test. Why this test works like this? Well, when you take summation n from 1 to infinity, negative 1 exponent n plus 1, a n, and that is a1 minus a2 uh, plus a3 minus a4, a3, a4 plus a5 minus a6, and you keep going. Let's take the sequence of partial sums. And as I said before, uh, let's think about those. So if you want to couple them in this way, and you want to take the sequence of partial sums, then you are going to get S2n equals summation. Uh, let's see here, k from 1 to 2n, negative 1 exponent n plus 1, an. And in that case, your sequence of partial sums is going to be monotonic, increasing. Correct? Because positive, then you add positive, then you add positive, and you keep doing in the same way. So here, S1 is going to be smaller than or equal to S2, smaller than or equal to S, sorry, uh, S2, smaller than or equal to S4, smaller than or equal to S6, and so on. So this is the sequence of partial sums when you take S to N. Well, if you take here N goes to infinity, then you get the sum here, and that is a monotonic sequence, and it is bounded. Correct? So it is bounded here. You can say it is bounded by the first term, as I uh, illustrated before, because if you couple those together, it will be negative, then uh, those together, it will be negative. So this sum is smaller than A1. So basically what you have, you have S2n is monotonic and bounded above and bounded below also. Bounded below, well, if this is positive, 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 then this is between zero and here A1. So it is bounded and S2n is monotonic. Well, bounded and monotonic, it means convergent or it means limit S2n as n goes to infinity is finite number L. Now, what about, what about if n is odd? Well, if you take here odd n, then S2n plus 1 is going to be S2n plus, plus 1. Uh, well, let's think about it. If you take here this plus this, so you have A3 here. If you take up to here, then it will be 
S2 plus A5. So this is going to be S2N plus A2N plus 1. Correct? Now, this one we know it converts to L. This goes to L. And from this condition, this condition is crucial here, this one is going to 0. So what happens to S2N plus 1? It converts to L. So whether you take here even terms or you or sequence of partial sums with even terms uh, or with all terms, you get convergence to L. So here, because S two N and S two N plus one converge to L, then summation n from 1 to infinity, negative 1 exponent n plus 1, a n also converts to L. What is L? We don't know what is L, but we know for sure it must converge. So basically this is the verification or the clarification of uh, the alternating series test. Okay? All right, uh, one more thing we can talk about here is if you want, you know, in mathematics, if you, cannot, if you cannot find or evaluate something and you know it is finite, then you can think about approximating that thing. So here, when you think about such this series, and you know it is convergent, and in reality you want an answer, so you cut it somewhere, and you say, well, I want to approximate it. So if you approximate it, it means you want to cut it n from 1 to infinity, negative 1 exponent n plus 1 a n equals uh, summation n from 1 to, let's say, k here, negative 1 exponent n plus 1 a n plus from k plus 1 to infinity negative 1 exponent, uh, sorry, here n equals k plus 1, here n, and here a n. So that is what we mean by cutting the series. So if I take this to be rn, and I take this to be s, so s equals rn plus an error term, correct? And the question is, what is S minus Rn? So that is going to be absolute value of the error here, or, well, error usually we talk about the absolute error, so I don't need to put the absolute value. Okay? So how large is that? Well, let's go back and think about it here. You observed from the beginning, we found that this sum is smaller than or equal to A1. Now, let's think about you want to cut it somewhere here. Okay. Well, then you can start your series after that. So basically here, when you think about this, if the first term is positive in, in, the, in this sum, then in that case, the error is going to be less than the first term, right? And if the next term is negative, then in that case, you can take the negative outside and still get the same thing. So basically, in either case, you can say this is a smaller than or equal to a n plus 1. Uh, by the way, I cut it here at k, so I better put here k, not n. So this is k, and this is k. So basically here, if you approximate, your error is going to be smaller than a k plus 1. And that is very easy to find. So in my example, the one I gave you, if you want to cut it somewhere, and you want to see how large it is, 
is just to see where you cut it and take the next term that will be your error or that will be a pound on your error. All right, let me give you one, one more example here and we will be done with uh, this section here. So let me give you uh, let me give you one question from your book about the error. Uh, show that the series is convergent. How many terms of the series do we need to add in order to find the sum to uh, the indicated accuracy? So let's take here uh, this one. Summation. Uh, negative one exponent summation and from one to infinity negative one exponent n plus one and here you have uh, n squared two exponent n and we want here the error to be smaller than error smaller than point oh 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 five Well, let's see here. It is alternating, that's obvious. Limit a n is zero, that's obvious. Now, is it decreasing? Well, yes, it is decreasing. One over n squared two to the n, that is decreasing. So you don't need to do too much work to check the conditions and to find this one is conversion. Okay? So, all we need here is to think about the error. Okay? So, what we want, we want a k plus one which is 1 over uh, k plus 1 squared to k plus 1 to be smaller than or equal or smaller than 0 0.0005. So from here, you can see that k plus 1 squared into 2 exponent k plus 1 larger than uh, 10,000 over 5, am I correct? Well, all you need here is just to use your calculator, trial and error, and see how large is your k. Well, you can see this is growing fast here. Uh, so here, if you take, uh, let's say, k equals 5, that will be six squared. Yeah, you can you can use your calculator here. What happens when k is uh, maybe less than five? If k is four, if k is four, five squared, 25. 25 multiplied by two, uh, exponent five here, and that is 32. So 25, 25, and here 32 you multiply and you see is that larger than 10 thousands over 5 or no if it is larger then that will be your k if it is not you need to take k equals 5 okay so basically here uh, this is let's see how large is that uh, two this is uh, let's see here this is 8 times 4 and here a 25 so this is 8 times 100, that is 800, correct? So uh, 800, is it larger than 10,000 over 5? Uh, yes, uh, because this is thousand. Uh, uh, this is 2, uh, this is 2,000. No, uh, no, that's still not yet. So here, basically, for sure, this is going to be uh, k equals 5. So k equals 4 does not work, so you try k equals 5, and you do the same computations. I don't like to do that. Uh, you know, I don't like to use calculator, but uh, I know you love calculators, so you can do that. So k equals 5 here is, uh, is going to work. And from here, if you want this error, it means you have to cut this and use n from 1 to 5, negative 1 exponent n plus 1 over n squared 
to exponent n as your approximation. Okay? So basically, all you need is to take five terms, and that will be good enough to address this error. Okay? All right, so this is about the alternating series test. I'll stop here, guys. And uh, if you have questions, you can ask me in the class about it. Okay? All right, have a good day. Bye bye.